Alongside the light is a short basic USB A to micro B charging cable, a plastic quick release bolt tightening tool, and a GoPro buckle mount with quick release bolt. There are also two batteries supplied that are found already installed within the light. Sadly, however, with the exception of the diagrams on the back of the box, no instructions or other written literature is included. On one side of the light is a single 8mm diameter silver button that is slightly recessed. Thankfully given the size of the button even those with large fingertips should have no problem operating the button despite it being recessed. This button serves multiple functions with one press turning the light on at its highest brightness, the second press reducing the brightness to its lowest setting. A third press activating a strobe function at its highest brightness and a final fourth press turning the light off. At the back of the light is the battery compartment cover, access to this is actually on the side of the light which is via a large bifold compression clip. Behind the battery compartment cover we find a 360 degree black silicone surround. The batteries are installed side by side with an individual clip retaining each, sadly however the battery compartments are not sprung loaded which can make for tricky removal. Within the battery compartment just above the batteries is a small white plastic panel. In the center of this is a USB micro B charging port and either side a small LEDs that light up red when the light is charging and go out when it is fully charged. The batteries supplied with the light are 3.7 volt, 1050 mAh batteries with no make or model number, although they are marked as AHDBT301 and AHDBT302 compatible. At the front of the light a clear plastic panel covers the LEDs secured in place with 12 tiny hex head bolts over a thin black glossy plastic surround. Behind the clear plastic panel there are three domed cap LEDs equally spaced, fitted with clear diffusers and each surrounded by silver, possibly metal, reflectors. On the top of the light a universal GoPro mount protrudes and on the underside of the light is a buckle fitting the same as those found on helmet mount base accessories onto which the buckle accessory provided can be attached. The following samples were taken with a Denver ACT8030W action camera that I am currently reviewing. Sadly this camera lacks vital settings required for a quality image in low light such as white balance, image stabilization, ISO and HDR settings. Testing the batteries the light remains at its highest brightness for approximately seven and a half hours and I would say this was the cutoff point for it being useful as a video light. Despite this the light remained active at diminishing brightness for another three and a half hours, during this time however it would not have served much purpose. While the button on the side of the light offers a reasonable resistance when pressed, which should reduce the risk of it accidentally being pressed it does not offer a tactile feedback, 
which is probably a good thing though otherwise the sound of the button being pressed would likely be picked up by the microphone on the attached camera. There is however a bit of an art to operating the button correctly. When the light is off and the first press is made, it turns the light on at its highest brightness. There is a 1.5 second delay however before the light actually comes on. If before the light becomes active you press the button once more when the light does eventually turn on it will be at its lowest brightness and should you press the button two additional times before the light becomes active it will enter strobe mode when it does come on and in the event you press the button three additional times before the light becomes active, it actually never will. Once the light does eventually switch on you should not be hasty with your button presses as more often than not, although not always, if you press the button repeatedly in quick succession only the first press will be registered and sometimes none at all are.